Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is my ride or die must have skincare products. If you know I'm a big proponent of City Beauty products, I am not sponsored. I do not get paid for doing videos. Um, do they send me things in PR? Yes. Um, most times prior to uh, them launching and then I try them out. If I find them to work for me, and I feel like they're a good investment, then I share them with you. Um, if I don't, I don't. <laughs> and that's just what it comes down to. Um, so there will be several City Beauty products because they are my favorite brand. That doesn't mean everything I use is by City Beauty. It's not. Some things like under eye, their under eye cream doesn't work for me. I have a better one. Um, so, you know, I'm perfectly honest with that. So, uh, and they're good with my honesty. You know, we all, we want to be honest. I want you to trust me and they want you to trust me, right? So if I say something doesn't work for me, it just doesn't mean that it doesn't work for someone else. What works for me may or may not work for you. Everybody's skin is different. This is what works for me. So with regards to that, the reason I mentioned it is City Beauty does though offer a discount code for you. It will always be listed in the description box anytime I mention their products and I use the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil every single day. So it's always under what I'm wearing for makeup, it's number one. All right, let's jump into this video. If you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, for those of you that have watched my channel long enough, you know that the majority of my skincare comes from one brand, and that is City Beauty. Some of the products that I'm going to talk about with regards to City Beauty, since I have done dedicated um, products, uh, dedicated videos on certain products that really are like like the holy grails. Um, I want to talk a little bit more of about two of them. Um, in Because I've gotten some questions uh, and I want to address them. So let's just start. I'm going to split screen so that you can see my bare face. Now, um, in the old days when I did not have a beauty room, of course I did my skincare and makeup in the same room, right? In the bathroom. Um, now I have a beauty room, so I do do skincare, some of it, in the, in the bathroom. Then I come to the beauty room, and then I do the rest of the skincare and then my makeup. My point to saying this is that some of these products, you really want them to sink in before you put your makeup on, and I'll explain why. All right, so we are going to start in the in the bathroom. This is fairly new. This is City Beauty's uh, lid lifting treatment. I did a dedicated video with this. This microcurrent device, the whole idea is to lift, is to firm, right? Well, I wanted to see, I have to give this its own shot. It's why I do no Botox. It's why I don't do fillers. Because if I'm going to do something that's supposed to lift over here and I'm doing Botox, that is not giving you a fair assessment. I'm sorry to say it. I know there's YouTubers that do it. That's fine. I don't have anything against those things. What I have an issue with is if you are continuously doing Botox and then you're talking about a microcurrent device. You can't say that it's the microcurrent device when you're doing Botox. You just can't. Um, at least that's how I feel and that's my personal opinion. Um, so I always stop whatever could be a competing factor. And even though it's not a treatment, it is lifting. Now this is very, very specialized, right? We're talking eyelids. Now when I do it, and I'm in a split screen, and I know on the other side I'm chatting away while I'm doing it, and maybe I'll pop in some of that talk, but I'm going to talk over myself. Why not? <laughs> I'm talking here and talking here. When you put it all over your lid, um, I go all the way out because if you do have the little crow's feet, it'll help with that. But its main purpose is firming and tightening that sagging skin. When we firm and tighten that sagging skin, we get an open eye look. By that I mean I suffer from very, very bad hooded eyes, okay? I have not used, now I have makeup on so there's tricks that I use with makeup. So I'm going to show you bare face because that's 
fair. And I'm going to show you, I have space between here and here, which I never have um, without using a microcurrent device. I haven't used one for at least two months. So this definitely is amazing. Now, one of the tips that I have learned since doing that dedicated video is do it first thing. Okay, so you put your serums on like I just did, then go in and put this on. You want it to sink in. Why? If you try and come and put it on and then go straight in and try and do eye makeup, you're going to run into a little bit of an issue. I'm getting ready to do my eyeshadow, okay? I am using uh, one of my favorite palettes by Real Her. This is Make It Happen. Great neutrals in here. Um, beautiful for fall, beautiful for any time of the year really because they're great neutrals. So I just want to show you, it's uh, the City Beauty eyelid treatments had time to dry. It's sunk in. It's now doing its thing. So I just want to show when I go to put on the eyeshadow, there is no pulling or tugging or any resistance. Do you know what I mean? So if you've gotten this product and you put it on and then you try and put eyeshadow on and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Well, that's what you're doing wrong. <laughs> Is that you need to let it sink in. So I could go ahead and just, I'm just doing a real quick look today where we are uh, filming, but uh, again, I'm just going with what I love, uh, a nice simple fall look. Um, and so, you could see, no matter where I'm at, I'm down in the corner now, right? Outer corner, coming in, um, and there's no pulling or tugging. So I lighten the lid now, and then I go in with the shimmer, and I just use my finger, and just go right over, and then see we've got a nice little pop of color, nice natural look. I just wanted to show you that, because that was the whole purpose of us putting on the lid lifting treatment, first and then do the let it sink in and do its eye you know do, do what it needs to do all right okay, let me if there's pictures and video of my doing stuff I'm going to just split screen and do it over here next we're going to move to the neck okay and I'm wearing a high shirt but that's okay that's why I have this video the next product is ultra firming dry oil from city beauty okay what I've learned about this one and you can see that it comes in a pump format. I'm not, or a dropper format. I'm just going to show video here. The thing that makes that special is because I've used, y'all know, Gold Blonde Chest and Firming Cream for years. Here it is. That doesn't mean I've replaced them. That means this is a one two punch. They do different things. How do I know this? I've done many before and afters with this over the years and then what I did was stop using this and then I just used this and what I found was that this was excellent morning and night this is a different animal this there's no animal products in this but this is a different this is definitely different the purpose of this is firming but what it also does is and, and tightening kind of goes with firming, but it lifts and tightens the neck. It also helps with those fine lines because what I also noticed was I, when I stopped one, then I said, oh, okay, it still does the lines. With the neck and chest golden, golden neck and chest firming cream, what I find is really great for lines, especially on the decollete, especially on the decollete, but also the neck. This one, I didn't really see firming necessarily, right? This one, over the time, because I did, I can't remember if I did a dedicated video on that or not, but I know I have before and after pictures, and what I saw was, wow, it really does firm the net. Remember, during this trial, I am not doing any microcurrent device down here. I'm not doing any microcurrent device, so it's purely, the before and afters are purely the ingredients themselves, the products themselves without any help from a microcurrent device. Okay, do my, I add on my City Beauty uh, plumping lip gloss. Wanna give that nice plumping lip. Now there are other things I do with regards to my lips. Of course, I've shown you. I exfoliate, I love those little 
brushes that I found. They really help to exfoliate my lips because I do get chapped lips. So I use this to give a plumping effect. I used to have big full lips. I'm not saying that I still don't have fuller lips than some. And no, I've never had fillers in my lips. Um, thinking, I'm getting these little lines. I don't like them. It's the way I drink anything. A bottle of water, I do this. I'm getting lines. I obviously I can't drink out of a straw or make it worse. I'm like, oh my god, it's the way that I talk, it's the way that I laugh. <sighs> Fillers may be in my future. So um, the last product or serum that goes on is Uplift Firming Serum. And I'm showing you here how I put it on and that gives a lifting effect to the skin. Is it going to give the same lifting effect that a microcurrent device does? No. Why do I bring up a microcurrent device? Because truly, it's a machine that's working under the skin. We're With all this, we're working on top of the skin. Yes, it sinks in, but a microcurrent device is actually going to help produce collagen. It's going to tighten the muscles. When you tighten the muscles, it lifts the face. I've done, I don't even know how many videos on multiple microcurrent devices, and they work excellent. Um, you can always see that in my playlist. I've got like probably 16 of them. Now, once I do that, the last step and the most important step, okay? What I do is I let everything sink in. I've got the cocoa under eye patches on. I'm letting all of the serums, everything. I'm letting the plumping lip gloss work, the neck work, everything. I do my makeup, okay? Uh, my eye makeup. Then I take my under eye patches off and then I put on the most important, the number one, uh, the number one powerhouse anti-aging product, sunscreen. Okay, we've got the eyes done, a rise. Hair's done, I'm gonna pin it back. And we are going to do the last step, which is, happens to be the most important step step in skincare. So this is Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. It does not matter. You guys know how I feel about this. It's how it comes out, okay? So um, what makes this special and in my arsenal and one of those ones that I'd have on a desert island, now I would definitely need this on a desert island, um, is that it not only is a, a sunscreen protecting against UVA and UVB rays, but it has um, anti-aging properties, so the more you use it, the better your skin will look. And the third thing is it has pore minimizers. I say pore vanishing. I no longer use a pore filler when I do my makeup because it does such a good job at, um, uh, at filling in those pores and making your skin smooth. I mean, y'all, you try this, your skin is smooth, it's protected, and it's anti-aging. Now, remember I talked about one of the tricks to this product, because one of you had a question about that, like peeling, pilling, pilling like a sweater, right? Does, is, remember how I said that the City Beauty um, firming oil doesn't play nice with this if you try and use the two right away. Um, so I let the oil sink in, and so by the time that I get to this part, look, it's beautiful, it goes on smooth as silk and your skin will feel so good. When your skin feels and looks good, you're going to use it every day. That's the whole point of sunscreen, regardless of whether you are in the house, whether you are outside, you need to use it every single day. This makes your skin look so good. Now, one of the things that um, I do because it will create a white cast, you can see now I look pale. It will sink in, uh, it's very minimal once it sinks in. But what I use is, oh, I forgot. I just picked up two new Winky Lux uh, tinted moisturizers. So I actually normally do the medium tint. That's what I've been doing for summer, but I also got the light tint. Um, I'm still gonna rock the, um, I'm still gonna rock the medium. Let's see how long it takes, here we go. I'm gonna just look at the difference between the two. Let's do that and see what the difference between the two, because I might mix them. Oh yeah, there's a difference. Well, I mean, there should be, right? So you can see here, I'm just gonna do it like 
that so you can see the medium versus the light. I'm just going to mix the two on the back of my hand and then put it on. So on no makeup makeup days, this is what I do. Y'all know this. I have a one, two, three punch. The first, always, City Beauty uh, Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. Then I'll put the Winky Lux Moisturizer on. Does two things. I'm all about multitaskers. One, it's a moisturizer. Number two, it gives a nice bronzed glow to the skin, which is wonderful. And the best way to put it on, I have found, is your fingers. And I, you know I'm not a big proponent of that. But in this particular case, this is um, the best way. And then look, you are it already looks better. Look at the glow, right? But let's take it to a whole new level, you know, because I'm all about it. Well, it is, it look. It's still summer here. It's fall, but it's summer. Um, it's like going to be eight, high 80s again. The third step in that one, two, three punch is the L'Oreal Glotion. I get it in the medium. I think it's 903 is what it is. And this just takes it over the edge. You know, just gives that nice sun-kissed glow. That's the whole purpose of, of this. And again, it's a lotion. So you just, you don't have to worry about, you know, putting, grabbing a brush or a blender or anything like that. Just put it on all over the neck, the face, forehead, nose. Um, I usually concentrate on the cheeks and see when I smile how now we have like a luminosity to skin. So it looks so good. I'm not doing a no makeup makeup day, so I'm going to put the rest of it on. So the reason that I put on all of the other skincare, neck face, everything, um, you, mainly in the bathroom, and then there's a few things that I do here. So, take a minute. You're not in the beauty room. You're in your restroom. Do your hair. Do your eye makeup. Uh, and then, go in and put this. And I would also say, depending on how you're putting it on, I sort of do these, this kind of motion instead of like, this kind of motion because also it is a pore filler so I get you know I usually start where my pores are and then work the rest of my face and neck so that's the big thing about that what I have learned um, in trial and error not that there was much trial and error needed but I understand all of you that asked that question and that is what it is it's not playing nice with something you're using or you're not letting whatever serum or whatever moisturizer sink in before you go in with this. There are three products that um, I use either at night or uh, periodically, okay? And they are all City Beauty. The first is a City Beauty's Line Smoothing Hydro Mask. Okay, I love this mask. I did this nights ago? Might have been last night. I don't know. I think it was two nights ago. Yeah, two nights ago. Two nights ago, I did this mask. I love it. Now, I use this mask on special occasions. What I do is if I use Dermaflash, okay, that's that tool where it gets the dead skin off. I'll show you a little video here. Dead skin, peach fuzz, just the gunk that just attaches to your face. What that does is give you fresh baby skin. And the first thing I'm going to put on there is the Hydro Mask because it is chock full of anti-aging ingredients. It is going to de-puff. It's going to calm the skin. It's going to hydrate the skin. It's going to minimize the look of the fine lines because there's a plumping effect to it. Now, what makes it special is the material, the, it, the, the uh, biocellulose material. That material is actually used in treating burn victims. So it will feel like nothing else I've certainly ever felt. You will notice an instant, instant difference in using this sheet mask. It's by far my favorite. It's the only one I use. Gold standard, definitely. Now, I also will use it on special occasions. So I will use it... Uh, if I'm like have a you know some event that I want to go to love it. It feels Fantastic and your skin looks fantastic afterwards The other thing that I use is the hand cream. I know I talk about this and it's like 
well, would that be really your ride or die? And then I really think about it and I'm like, yeah, if I was stuck on a desert island and I only had a few choices of things, yes. You know why? Because I suffer from dry skin. I don't have a thyroid. That means that I have dry skin and I'm also menopausal, so dry skin. And what I noticed was there was a time period where I wasn't using it. I'm gonna see if I still have those pictures and I'll show. And my hands, the back of my hands looked horrible. Okay, any hand cream, good hand cream, can take care of dryness. But what this also does, multitasker, that's the thing I love about City Beauty products. They're multitaskers, every one of them. And this, the multitasker on this one is, as we age, our skin gets thinner on our hands. We start to show those, you know, fine lines, the blue lines. But what it does is give a plumping effect. Um, to the hands so it doesn't they don't look old you know they don't look like they're hopefully they're not looking like they're 54 year old hands so you make the judgment so I love it so I use that only at night um, when I go to bed um, I put it on um, the back of my hands it sits on my nightstand and that way I don't forget now there's one last product I want to talk about and you know nothing about it how exciting because one of the products I use at night, and it is the gold standard besides sunscreen, um, and that is tretinoin or Retin-A. Now, uh, Curology is what I use uh, for Retin-A. It helps in every way, shape, or form. Age spots, sunspots, um, fine lines, uh, the helping of building of collagen, really giving a, a shine to the skin. Now, not everyone can use Retin-A. It is strong. Um, so Retinol is the next step down. Lesser effective version, but still effective, okay? Now, certain people can't use, for instance, Retin-A on their neck or on their hands because this is very sensitive. So that would be where retinol would come into play. Well, City Beauty is launching this month, and I will talk more about it. I'll have more, I'll have before and after pictures because I do my due diligence. I don't take pictures until I'm done trying the product out. So this is what it looks like. You're going to get a sneak peek right here and now. Something to look forward to as to my review and how I feel about it. There is a step, there's two pumps here, a step one and a step two. Um, and this is called advanced retinal system. So in order to test this, what did I do you all? Yes, I stopped Curology. I stopped any retinols, retin-A's, stopped it all and just have been using this for about three weeks, so I have about a month more to go. You know I'm a firm believer in 30 days minimum to test certain skincare products. So uh, look forward to this towards, I think it's towards the end of October, sometime in this month, I don't know, I have the dates in. These are the rider dyes. Um, I think these ones are the most pared down version to work on the neck, the eyes, and the face, and the lips. <laughs> so, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.